Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hello, Australia. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Coffee Talk. I slept so well. I slept like I fell asleep at 10 o'clock and slept soundly and didn't move until 6.30, till the dog came in and jumped on my head. I slept uh, eight and a half hours. It was glorious. And you know what I notice is I sleep better when I am at that perfect temperature, like when I stack my blankets. Now I see why people buy those weighted blankets because there is something to that. I slept with my sheet, my blanket, and then another blanket, and it was like I was out. It was glorious. Um, oh, Jen, I'm so glad you ordered the cross. I love that. Um, anyway, um, uh, I hope everybody's doing well. So good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. I don't know, I can't remember if I already said that, but I'm just, bleh. Um, I have to go do my radio show. I'm very excited. If you're not already following me on Instagram, take a second when we're done Hop over to Instagram and find me on Instagram, Jamie P. Sullivan, J-A-I-M-E P. Sullivan. Give me a follow and watch at 8 o'clock Central, 9 Eastern, my radio show. So fun. Such a good time. Turn it up, clean out your closet, drink your coffee, get your stuff ready, whatever you need to do. Um, so I just want to tell you a story really quick. I literally have five minutes. I just want to tell you this really quick. So the other night... Um, I go to dinner and I'm sitting next to a gentleman that I know, but I don't know, um, really well. And we start talking and, um, he brings up somebody from my past, a girl from my past. And he says, Hey, didn't you used to work with so-and-so? And I say, I did. Now, my instinct is to be like, she's a, she's a this, she's a that. I, uh, why are we talking about her? I can't stand her. Hi, Jason. Right? So, but I don't, because remember, I told you, I'm not going backward for anyone, and it's not my story to tell. I have to believe, and I know that this girl used to use this guy in different ways. So I just, you know, so he says, didn't you used to work with so-and-so? So I said, oh, yeah, I did. And um, he kind of waits. There's like a dramatic pause to see if I'm going to say anything, if I'm going to give him anything, right? But you guys know, I, I really try not to do that. I'm not perfect. There are times where I'm like, you know, if somebody brings up someone's name, I can't stand. Sometimes it falls out of my mouth. But for the most part, I can keep it together, right? So he says... Um, you know, it's really a shame that she turned out to be who she turned out to be because I valued her and I thought, and <laughs> here it comes now. So I'm like, uh-huh. And he starts, uh, basically explaining um, hello, Germany. He, 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 he basically starts explaining, you know, sort of who she is and what she's capable of, which I already obviously know. And what is interesting to me is when this girl hurt me and used me and shit on me, I felt like I was the only one. I knew I wasn't, but I felt like I was the only one. And it was very isolating and lonely and humbling and I cried a lot. And I know you guys can go back two years in your memory and remember when I was going through all of that stuff with the magazine and all of these different things. And, um, oh, Italy. Hello, Italy. Uh, and, um, so... 
anyway, so he starts talking about it and he basically goes into sort of what her public perception is now and how, you know, she's a damaging human being and, you know, and so I try to be the bigger person. I'm like, well, you know, hurt people hurt and in fairness, she did call me a few months ago to apologize and it felt like a genuine apology and I decided to accept it and he was like, oh, okay. But what I realized in that moment is two years ago, I felt totally isolated in my and embarrassed about the way I was treated. I'm just going to be honest with you. I felt embarrassed about the way I was treated it, to the point where I was like, is there something wrong with me? Is this a Jamie thing? Why am I being treated this way, right? Two years goes by. Two years. And I finally get the validation that I need from a man sitting next to me at a dinner party who says blank, 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 or at a dinner. Um, and, oh my God, I didn't take my medicine yet. It is really amazing how when you don't take your medicine, you drink coffee, you could almost die. Um, and I realized that what is, dark, what is done in dark will eventually always come to light. And that is truly the most beautiful thing about people who don't change. Is that when they do you dirty and you feel embarrassed and you feel isolated, like it's just me, it's just me, no one believes me, everyone thinks it's me, I'm the crazy one, I'm the whatever. And you have to get through that. That is your lesson, that's your journey. Like you've got to get through it. Sometimes it can take two years, sometimes it can take longer, but eventually someone will sit down beside you, look you in the face and go, didn't you used to know so-and-so? Boy, they really are not good people. And you're like, oh my God, it's happening. It is happening. What is done in dark eventually comes to light. And here we are. And here we are. So for any of you right now who have been done dirty or been, I've been cheated. Been misleading. When will I be loved? Anyone who's feeling like that, just know that eventually um, it is going to come back. It will come back around. And you will realize, oh. Oh. Here it is. What is done is dark, in dark will eventually come to light. And it is, you know, and here's the thing. I wish that I could be mature enough to say it doesn't feel good. Guess what? It does. It does. When somebody acknowledges that the person who did you dirty and embarrassed you and shit on you, when someone else is like, oh, yeah, no, that person is not a good person. You're like, oh. but you have to like play cool. You're like, oh, well, you know, hurt people hurt. And like, you yeah. But it comes. I just want you to know it comes. It takes two years maybe. I don't know. You don't know how many. I don't know. You don't know. But it comes. That's how my grandfather used to sound. <laughs> um, so I just want you to know that. Hello, Poland. Um, I love you guys so much. I'm going to get ready for my radio show because I'm not ready. I'm in my pajamas and I need to walk out the door in six minutes. So I love you. And did I say anything, Tim? No, I just, I was just like, oh, um, hi, Cap. Um, I just, no, I just said, listen, you know, my, she apologized and my experience with her was um, not favorable, but like her people hurt and you hope that, you know, I just, I did the whole like coffee talk thing because I, I'm not gonna, I'm just not going, um, back in that direction. I'm just not because it takes two seconds for me to go back to who I used to be. Oh, all right, Joanne, we got it, baby doll. We got it. You can have my boobs, love. Um, 
I don't know what you're writing because I can't read anything, but I can see the capital letters. I wish I had boobs. Um, so, I say all that to say, it's coming for you. Don't worry. It's coming. All right. I love you guys so much. So much. Have a great Saturday. It's the beginning of break, y'all. For those of you who have some time off, just enjoy it. Relax. Wrap presents. Clean out your closet. Listen to music. Um, I don't know. Hang out with your dog. Watch old episodes of Jersey Bell. Whatever floats your boat. All right, go over to Instagram at Jamie P. Sullivan so you can watch my radio show. It's going to be great this morning. I love you guys so much today. Have a great, great day.